Hello, everybody. Today, we're talking about local service ads. What are they and how can they help your business? So to start, uh, what is a local service ad? I've got a search up here, uh, Realtors Near Me. And you can see at the top, there are a different, there's a different kind of ad that maybe you've seen in the past here. It says Google screened. You've got uh, reviews. You've got photos of agents. Um, traditionally, when we think about Google ads, we often think of search ads, uh, pay-per-click search ads, um, kind of the old school Google ad option, which is which are these down here, these lists, you've got blue text, you've got, you know, um, just some basic messaging, et cetera. Those are different than the Google local service ads um, in a couple different ways. First of all, um, one big difference is the level of complexity needed to set these up. Google search ads are traditionally very complex. It's almost impossible for a non-expert to go in and effectively set up a Google search ads campaign. Um, there are people that spend their whole career just focused on Google search ads and making those more effective. Um, so uh, just the complexity is, is, is immense. You've got to go in there, you've got to you know, set specific keywords, do a lot of good keyword research. You've got to have complex bidding strategies, um, targeting strategies, all that kind of stuff um, that just make it very difficult for the average person to use them. Google service, um, the Google local service ads, on the other hand, are quite simple to set up. Um, there are just a few options uh, in there. Uh, if you're comfortable with your Google business profile, you can likely go in, you could set up your own Google local service ad uh, campaign. Another difference is that the um, ads here, like I mentioned before, your search ads are pay-per-click. So you're going to pay, you know, for each click on those ads, um, you know, something like maybe five, 10, sometimes even 20 or $30 depending on how complex your area is. Uh, the local service ads are pay per lead. And as of right now, it's one of the cheapest pay per lead options out there. Uh, so if you're a realtor, you're going up against the Zillows and things like that. Um, you know, local service ads are often, you know, half as much or even less than, than it would be from Zillow or realtor.com, something like that. If you're more in the home services space, you've got the home advisors, the thumbtacks, things like that. And again, local service ads in a lot of cases are half as much as you pay for one of those leads. The other nice thing is Google's very, um, uh, I think, fair to small business owners about what, what qualifies as a, a lead. Um, if they've got to stay on the phone with you for 30 seconds, and if it turns out to be a spam lead, you can always report that to Google and ask for a refund. Um, a lot of the other pay-per-lead services are not like that, you know, from Zillow or something like that. You pay, you know, immediately whether or not it was a good lead or not. So um, so that's good. So, so it's more affordable very often. Um, you know, well, it might sound like paying like 30 or $40 a lead initially sounds more expensive than paying five to ten dollars a click the reality is you know a really successful landing page will often have a five percent conversion rate so if you're paying you know ten dollars uh, per click um you know it, it, as it turns out you're really paying um what is that 20 times um the number uh you know 20 times that amount so you're paying like 200 dollars you know per lead uh, which is obviously way more than the 30 or 40 dollars um there so you're just paying you know whether if everyone clicks that link just kind of kicks the tires, goes in, leaves, doesn't really do anything, you still paid for that click. These local service ads, you're only paying if they stay on the phone with you for 30 seconds or more, or if they send you a message as a qualified uh, qualified person. So they're easier to set up. They're typically more affordable than other options out there. And they just have a, a really clean place of prominence. If you look at right at the top of the page here, you've got someone's face, you've got the reviews, et cetera. So, um, so definitely a, a Something to consider if you're a, a local service business, if you offer a local service to a specified, um, you know, local area, uh, it, it can be a great uh, tool for you. Now, the, what's the catch? One of the catches is that this isn't available for everybody. I've got a painting client, for example, and painting companies are not one of the verified services. Obviously, if you're like, you know, e-commerce or a restaurant, these are not an option for you. So um, only a certain set of service businesses are in there. And that's changing rapidly from Google. So if you go to Google and you just search local service ads, you'll come to their landing page here. Um, this is really where I recommend getting started. So even today, you know, I, I recommend that you pop in. If you think this is something you might want to do, just check out the page. It takes like two minutes to see if it could be a good fit for you. If you check out their landing page here, you can scroll to the bottom. They have a nice little calculator here. So you can put in your zip code and then you can say about how many leads per month you want. So let's say, ah, I want, I don't know, five, five good leads a month, let's just say. And then you actually see a list of industries that they uh, that they offer. So a lot of different attorneys, uh, real estate agents. They've got preschool on there. Um, like you, like I mentioned before, you, you won't see painter or painting company on here for some reason that hasn't been added yet. But they are adding new ones uh, pretty reg regularly. Um, weight loss services up here, yoga instructor, etc. So they've got a good list of people. So you can pick your uh, pick your option. Pick what you focus on. Let's say you're a home inspector. Um, put your zip code in. Put the number of leads. Click estimate budget. And I'll tell you what you're going to pay. So if you're a home inspector, um, that's actually, uh, that's that's very cheap. 60 to $90 
for those five leads. That's, that's actually for all the leads together. Um, so you're looking at a, a you know pretty inexpensive uh, campaign right there um, to get to get those five leads. So that's one option. That's the first step to all this is just check it, check your um, to see if your industry is on the list. Like I said, it's, it's changing so quickly. By next week, it'll be already a new new set of you know new set of uh, services. So I won't, I won't go through every one there, but you can just pop in here and see if it's accepted. Put your zip code in, put your target leads, and see how much it pays. You know, if, if you're a home inspector, it's very likely that you know it'd be worth spending sixty to ninety dollars a month to get you know extra five leads, five leads a week. So that's uh, step one here. The next question. Um, that a lot of people ask is, all right, so I'm interested. I think it's a good fit. Um, so then what, um, how do I know if I'm going to come up? Like I see that these guys come up, but if I click more real estate agents, um, there are, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of real estate agents up here. So how do I know that mine's going to be up here, you know, at the top and not all the way at the bottom where, where not as many people are going to click, click on these links. Well, there are a couple of things that Google gives you. And actually this is again, one advantage over Google ads. Google ads has complicated things like quality score, which is this like nebulous, you know, assessment of quality of your landing page, you know, quality of copy, that kind of stuff. Um, it also has, you know, like I said, more complex bidding strategies. The local service ads are pretty straightforward. Number one, it's your proximity to the potential customer's location. So um, if you, if all things are equal, you have the same number of views, all the stuff we're gonna go through in a minute. If all things are equal, the person closest, um, you know, is gonna, is gonna come up. Um, so that's one. Uh, the next one is your review score. This is something, so proximity you can't really control, reviews you can control. We talk about these almost, I feel like every one of these workshops, uh, reviews are critical to your success. And this is another area where you see that. So the business with the best positive reviews is likely to come up. You saw that like Craig Hartencraft, um, a local realtor here in Lancaster has 510 reviews. So um, most times I see his local service ads appearing right near the top. Your responsiveness to customer inquiries. So Google will track, like I said, um, whether or not you answer the phone. Google will track whether or not you, uh, if someone sends you a message, do you respond to the message? If you're quick to respond, that can give you a bump. So even if you don't have quite as many reviews, if you're a much more responsive business to the next person down, that can give you a lift. Your business hours, if, if the, a certain business is in, is in shows that they're open currently and the other business is not, Google will give extra preference to the business that's currently open. And then uh, Google says whether or not we've received serious or repeated complaints about your business. So, you know, as you saw here at the top, here, um, Google does have a Google screened uh, thing that appears right in the search. So, uh, you know, when you go to apply, we're not going to go into the, the full detail. If, you, if this is something you're interested in, we can certainly help you go through the process of setting these up. But what you'll see is when you do go to set those up, there's a bit of a background check. There's a background check on the business owner. Um, you've got to provide any specific licenses, your real estate license, your contractor license, whatever applies. Um, and Google checks that out. And Google also looks at the number of reviews you have. So you have to have some positive reviews in there in order to even be accepted to this program. Um, but if Google sees that you get a lot of complaints down the road uh, for, you know, you know, poor uh, workmanship or poor quality service, something like that. Google reserves the right to either not list you as much or even just not list you at all in the program. Um, they want to keep that Google screened as a somewhat of a um, trustworthy moniker. So, so high level, what are local service ads? There are these things at the top here. They're pay per lead ads, not pay per click ads. They are very easy to set up. The information from these comes directly from your Google My Business profile. That's it's always speaks to the ease of setting these up. So if you can set up a Google, Google Business profile, if you have set up your Google Business profile, you've basically already set up the ad. It's just a matter of turning it on and setting your budget and going through the application process. Um, so they're basically taking your Google Business profile and elevating it near the top and giving you an opportunity to appear in front of a lot more people for an affordable price. The question, the next question, how to, how to make it work for my business? Um, quite simply, first step, like I mentioned before, go check this out and make sure that you can do it for your business. Number one is, does, am I, you know, um, is my service accepted by Google? If it is, the second question is, is the price per lead worth it for me? You know, so if, you know, 20 bucks a lead or, or $50 a lead, wherever it comes in, if that's worth it to you, um, then, then go for it. This is going to be a great way to get some good leads. If you find that the cost per lead is going to make it that you're not profitable on those returns, then maybe not. Um, the final question I'd say is just how developed your Google business profile is. If you have three reviews and all of your competitors have, you know, 50 or like we saw 500 reviews, um, then probably when, you know, not jump on these yet, take some time to build that review profile up. But if you have, if your review count is in line with your competitors, the industry matches and you can still be profitable at paying for these leads, I'd say go for it. It's quite easy to set up. Uh, we can, again, if you'd like us to help, you know, we'll have some tutorial videos and things we can send out there on how to set them up. Um, and it can be a great source of just, you know, affordable leads coming into your business without you need to do any other form of marketing. 
So that's it for today. If you have any questions, as always, reach out to your experts, uh, reach out to Command Central here. We're happy to help you out and go through any details and um, answer any questions that you have. Thanks.